I'm very pleased to second this Liberal Democrat amendment to the budget from Assemblymember Pigeon, as it is well overdue time for the Mayor to move London forward in investigating a fairer road charging system. A citywide fair road charging scheme charging for each journey according to time, distance and emissions would be transformative and it is important that the impacts are well understood and planned for without further delay. The Conservatives are right to point out when they do that there are some border effects around the ultra low emission zone with some unfair consequences for some drivers who might not need to go far or for long into the zone but end up paying the daily charge. This is a fault in area-based schemes that don't have the sophistication and fairness of a proper distance time and emissions-based charge. Not a fatal one, because we can't do nothing about air pollution, but we should now be getting on with developing something better for the future. And we should not shy away from the politics involved when it's what the city needs and when so many unlikely allies from the Federation of Small Businesses to the Institute of Civil Engineering have been saying for ages that this is the fair solution to congestion that we do need to work on. And the Mayor can't just sit around and then cobble something together this far reaching at the last minute. In particular, he needs to be working on how we can build in protections for privacy and civil liberties from the start or they will come back to bite him later. There are clear data protection and privacy concerns for a system that will be based on individual journeys people are making. Let's not forget that tracking was the first concern written into that massive petition against road pricing in 2007. And these issues have not gone away and in many ways have more serious implications now. Cars are often shared between partners and other shared resources like home digital hubs have recently been implicated in domestic abuse cases because of the detailed information they hold in common. We cannot let a congestion measure add to the ability to control and abuse partners, and we can't leave these concerns until later to solve. There is no reason why the system can't be completely privacy friendly and not even record where you are and where you go. We can and we must build real privacy like this into anything we do on road charging. A workplace parking levy is much simpler to implement and is a proven success story elsewhere. Getting that right for London is about understanding the extent of workplace parking, what businesses use it for, finding the right charge levels and exemptions for places like hospitals as they have in Nottingham and keeping the overheads of the scheme low. I worked as a road campaigner from 2011 and Nottingham's workplace parking levy came in shortly afterwards to much optimism that it would soon spread quickly. So it's bizarre to realise now that more than six years have passed and no other city has yet followed suit. What a waste of a good idea. To quote from the Times editorial this Saturday, a workplace parking levy is good economics and good environmental policy. So I want to see the Assembly support this motion and take a step forward on policies that already have cross-party support and which are signalled in the Mayor's transport strategy but not yet act actioned properly. A modest investment today in these important studies is vital. It would help ensure road charging is done right for Londoners and make sure the important issues are considered fully ahead of the next election. I hope you'll vote for this motion today.